and her family revealed that she died after a brief battle with colon cancer. A statement said she only recently discovered the disease. Colon cancer is known as a silent killer because the symptoms often take longer to present themselves than in other types of cancer. And joining us now to discuss the warning signs is Advocate Illinois Masonic Medical Center's uh, Medical Director of Digestive Health, Dr. Andrew Albert. Dr. Albert, thank you so much for being on the program. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let's run through just how this uh, disease tends to really creep up on a lot of people and what your message would be out there for people who are getting a little older. So my message to everyone out there is to get tested. Colon cancer often presents in the later stages. It starts off as a small spot inside your large intestine and grows over time. The best way to prevent this in most cases is to get checked ideally by colonoscopy. Okay, so talk about when people need to be doing that. Is there a certain age you start with, certain symptoms you should look out for? What should we be watching for? Sure, so the most common symptom of colon cancer is no symptom at all. Uh, we encourage all patients to talk to their doctors about a plan, a plan of when to get tested, whether it's a colonoscopy at 45 or get stool testing at 45, but just do something. The best test is the one that gets done. So all patients are encouraged to get, to get tested in some way with either a colonoscopy, which is a camera looking in your colon, or with a stool test at 45. But more importantly, it's important to have a discussion with your doctor and also talk to your family members. A lot of people don't realize that they have a family history of colon cancer. And when they start asking questions, they start to learn more. Okay, um, two questions here. Are there differences in when you advise colonoscopy or those tests between men and women? And how treatable is it? You mentioned it, it starts as just a spot. If it's caught early, how treatable is it, doctor? So I want to be clear that there is no difference between men and women in terms of the, the uh, uh, epidemiology related to colon cancer uh, as it presents. Men and women equally can get colon cancer. Um, as far as uh, the testing goes, um, we, we oftentimes have people talk to the doctors about getting tested and do the test that works best for them. If they have a family history, we sometimes might screen them for colon cancer as early as 25. We're seeing a very large increase in colon cancer in people uh, younger than 45 years old. So it's really important to have the discussion. And again, the most common symptom of colon cancer is no symptom at all. So oftentimes people will say, I, I have normal bowel movements, I feel good, I have good energy, but that doesn't mean you're not at risk for colon cancer. And I encourage everyone out there to talk to their doctor about when they should get checked. Okay, we're looking at some of the symptoms on the screen right now that people should look out for, but it is frightening to think that a lot of times you don't have those symptoms. Again, Kirstie Alley's family saying she just discovered up. People might remember that the actor from Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman, he also died of this. As, do you think that this at least brings more attention that people need to be watching out for this? I appreciate the question. I think we need to have more conversation about this and make it more comfortable for people to talk about. I hope this brings attention because unfortunately in our medical world, we see this all too often. And regarding these symptoms here, these are very helpful to, to show to people. These are concerning symptoms that even these symptoms don't bring people in. But these symptoms typically occur later in the progression of colon cancer. Usually the most common symptom is no symptom, as we mentioned. So these symptoms happen later in the progression of the disease. All right, Dr. Andrew Elber with Illinois Advocate uh, Masonic Hospital up on the north side. We really appreciate your time and expertise this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.